in this video we're gonna find the limit as x approaching uh, or approaches infinity of uh, the function x to the power 2 times cosine of 1 over x to the power 2 I mean this is the first function the second function will be a limit uh, when n is x as x tends to the infinity of x to the power 2 times sine of x plus cosine to the third and the cosine cube of x divided by x squared plus 1 times x minus 3. First of all, we're going to think like we did before in the first video. We know that a cosine, we said that's what we said, the cosine is the cosine always satisfies this relationship. You know, it's always in between. I mean, the output of the cosine is always in between, you know, 1 and minus 1. So it means that the cosine of anything is going to be in between this integral right here. It's going to satisfy this relationship anyway. So, of course, we're going to say that the cosine of 1 over x to the power 2 also, is also in between this integral right here. Always is less than <clears throat> less than equal to one and here greater as so a cosine is greater and less to minus one and equal to minus one sorry okay um so it means that and now we can you know multiply x to the power two there on it and that's gonna give us uh minus x to the power two less than less than equal to the so x to the power two time cosine of 1 over x to the power 2 or x squared less than less than equal than less or equal than uh, x to the power 2 all right okay and now if you write the limits when x tends to 0 of minus x to the power 2 this is going to give you 0 and and the limits here x approaching 0, uh, x to the power 2 times cosine of 1 over x to the power 2. This is also less than equal to the limit when x approaches 0 of x to the power 2. All right. As you can see, these two, you know, outside function tends to 0. This is your 10 to 0, and this is your 10 to 0. And of course, it follows, you know, the uh, uh, from the from the squeeze principle that this function in between here tends to 0. So we're going to say the limit as x approaches 0 of the function x to the power 2 times the cosine of cosine of 1 over x squared equals to zero and the other thing we're gonna you know that's it here for this function right here okay about this other example we're gonna do you know I mean practically the same thing we have a sign we know that the sign let me just write it here for I'm gonna do some space down here the sign of x that's what we said before and is always in between minus 1 and 1 and the cosine also of anything that's what we say is always in between minus 1 and 1 this is the output function and when you plug x in it what is uh, uh, y gonna be and this is what it is and now of course we know that definitely cosine of x here of course the cosine of anything like I said before is gonna also be in between these intervals so of x is also satisfying this relationship, of course, right? So now what we're going to do, we can see here we got sine plus cosine. So if we add both of them, we got sine of x plus the cosine of x. We add them both. This is <clears throat> less or equal than we have one plus one here it gives us two. We have one one minus one here gives us minus two. Okay, this is what it can give us. And now, if you are, you think about it, the cosine of three, right? So we're gonna have here the cosine. I mean, because it's a cosine, we add these two here. This is a cosine to the power of of three. Okay, and you can multiply 
the x on t and we're gonna have here minus 2x to the power 2 yeah we multiply to, to uh, x to the power 2 so this is equal to um, hold on, x to the power 2 times the sine of x plus cosine cubed of x less or equal than uh, x to the power 2 x to the power 2 so 2 x to the power 2 of course okay so this relationship is going to be considered uh, anytime you you have sign in between this limit of course the, the outside function are going to be considered also being you know either uh, greater or smaller or small or less or equals to the post the function or greater or equals to the function so we continue to have here now we're going to divide by x to the power 2 plus 1 so we're going to have here minus 2x to the power 2 divided by x to the power 2 minus 1 it's less or equal to x to the power 2 times the sine of x plus cosine to the power 3 of x over x to the power 2 minus 1 and this is less or equal to minus 2 to the power my uh, 2x to the power 2 sorry over x to the power 2 minus 1 okay and uh, in the next step we add we multiplying I mean it's like a dividing the whole thing or multiplying by 1 minus x or multiplying by 1 minus 3 uh, x minus 3 so we're gonna have here uh, minus 2x to the power 2 over x to the power 2 minus 1 uh, is it actually plus 1 sorry so plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 okay plus 1 times x minus 3 is also less or equal to x to the power 2 times x plus sine of x sine of x plus cosine cubed of x over x to the power 2 minus 1 or plus 1 times x minus 3 and this is also less or equal to 2x to the power 2 over x to the power 2 minus uh, plus 1 times x minus 3 okay now if you take them separately like taking the first you know this out function here say that the limit uh, as x uh, approaches the infinity of minus 2x to the power 2 over uh, x to the power 2 plus 1 times x minus 3 taken separately you know this is in this kind of function we just need to uh, able to factor the, the largest power of x okay and if we do that here we're gonna have first of all we can have like um, uh, x to the power of 3 we can you know we can, we can um, I think can expand it but anyway it's gonna give 0 but that's what I can see already but let us just expand it it's gonna give us here minus 2 x to the power 2 over so we expand the denominator it's gonna give us here x to the power 3 uh, minus 3 x to the power 2 plus x minus 3 okay and now uh, I need to make some room somewhere there now if you factor the uh, the um, the largest power for x here, we're gonna have on the denominator, we're gonna have limits. Uh, sorry, the wrong pen. We're gonna have the limits as x approaches uh, infinity. The denominator, we're gonna have x to the power 2 and it remains here minus 2. Okay, and the denominator, we're gonna have it's near x to the power 3, and the whole thing inside will be having uh, 1 minus uh, 3 over x. Um, plus x uh, plus 1 over x to the power 2 and minus 3 over x to the power of 3 okay and this is what we already know that this whole thing here is going to go to 0 0 
zero and zero. That's uh, x approaches the infinity, and we can you know we can cancel out one x here and this one here. So we still have one x here, and the result is going to be just going to give us. This means that we're going to have the limits as x approaches the infinity of minus two over x and this here also tends to zero this is equal to zero right and we can do the same thing here it's going to give us zero and of course we can write zero less or equal to the limit of when x is approaching the infinity uh x to the power two sine of x plus the cosine squared um uh, the cosine cubed of x over x to the power 2 minus plus 1 times x minus 3 would also be equal to 0 according to the squeeze theorem okay because we're going to be having um let me just write here the limit uh, as x approaches to the infinity of these are the functions right here and this is going to be 2 over x okay so this is going to give us also zero and after we cancel out everything that's going to give us this and these two function are the other function okay less than sorry less or equal to zero and this means definitely that the limit when x approaches the infinity of x to the power of two times the sine of x plus cosine cubed of x over x to the power 2 plus 1 times x minus 3 equals to 0 and this is the limit of the function okay as you can see the squeeze theorem you know just allows us to um, simplify things you know and taking uh, outer function to define what the inner function can be Okay, so this is what it's all about.